Hello everyone, I am uh, Dr. Sarvik, a medical oncologist at Medical Hospitals, Hyderabad. Today in this video, I will be discussing about the risk factors of urinary bladder cancer. So, uh, coming to the risk factors, there are multiple. So, few of the important ones are, one is uh, tobacco smoking. Tobacco smoking in any form, either uh, you take it as a cigarette or BD or you chew it, such kind of people are 4 to 10 times at higher risk of developing bladder cancer as compared to the normal people who do not smoke or do not use tobacco. Then, other risk factors are like age. Uh, people usually elderly, that is uh, age of 65 years and above, these kind of people are also at increased risk of having urinary bladder cancer. Apart from this, certain people who are working in chemical industries, uh, chemical industries like uh, textile industries, or uh, tire industries or paint industries when they are exposed to such kind of chemicals even they have a risk of developing urinary bladder cancer then apart from this certain uh, bladder cancers can also be hereditary certain syndromes like Lynch syndrome uh, such kind of things the bladder cancer or colon cancer or endometrial cancer different types of cancers they can run in the family so again family history is important so if there is any family history of any cancer or if there is any syndromic things like this, then they have to again be more vigilant because that is a high risk factor for developing bladder cancer. Now, uh, coming to the less common risk factors of bladder cancer, that is, uh, one is radiation exposure. That is, if uh, they had some other cancer in the past and they received radiotherapy to the pelvic area, then there is slight increased risk of developing bladder cancer in the long term. And apart from this, certain chronic irritable conditions like the, the bladder is getting irritated for long duration of time, like if a person has a police catheter inside the bladder for a long time or if there are recurrent urinary tract infections and certain infections like schistosomiasis, such kind of things can also lead to bladder cancer. So if any of these risk factors are present, then you have to be more vigilant and any small symptoms like if there is difficulty in passing urine or if there is any blood in the urine or pain while passing urine, you have to immediately consult with an oncologist.